Hey, welcome to this Next.js tutorial and today in this tutorial we will learn how to integrate database to Next.js application. So here we will perform two steps. In first step, we will install the a database engine called MySQL and then in the second step, we will connect Next.js project with a MySQL database. So in that case, especially we will configure a Next.js project or initialize a Next.js project to connect with the MySQL database. So let's begin. So first step is to install the MySQL. Go to the website, type here mysql.com and hit enter. And on this home page of MySQL, you see here a download section, click on that. Then scroll down and you will see here a link MySQL community GPL downloads, click on it. Then you need to click on MySQL community server and after that from here choose your operating system if you are using Linux choose the Linux if you are using Mac choose the Mac so in this tutorial I am using the Windows so I am going to download this Windows version and make sure that uh, uh, you are installing MSI installer and let's say that you choose a uh, Mac OS so in Mac OS look for the different CPU architecture or download the installer according to the CPU architecture like ARM 64 bit and x86 64 bit. Now uh, I'm going to install Windows. So let's go and click on download. Now you don't want to log in here, just click on no thanks, just start my download. So after downloading, you need to install the MySQL community server. And then you have to proceed with the installation process where you will enter your username and password. So I'm not going to show the steps, but I have already installed. And after installing, make sure you also install the MySQL Workbench, which allows you the graphical user interface. So for that, what you can do, go back and from here, you can see MySQL Workbench and you can install this. Now after installing, after installing, open the MySQL Workbench and here you can see the username is root and this MySQL server is running on the localhost 3306. Click on that and specify the password that you have configured while installing the MySQL and after entering password you will see the interface like this. Now we will uh, let us see how to interact with the database but for now you need to make sure that you have uh, correctly installed the MySQL and you see the interface like this. Now we have installed the MySQL and next we will see how to set up the Next.js project with a Prisma ORM. So let's see what is a Prisma. Prisma is ORM or it is stand for Object Relational Mapping is an open source database toolkit designed for developer working with relational databases. It provides a type shape database client and the schema migration tools to simplify database interaction and it has some key features first key feature is prisma client a prisma client is a type shape database client that generates queries based on your database schema making database operation more reliable and reducing the risk of the runtime errors next feature is a prisma migrate a tool for managing schema changes and migration allowing you to define and apply a schema changes in structured and version control manner. Lastly, the feature is a Prisma Studio. It is a graphical interface for viewing and editing your database content, which can be helpful for debugging and data management. So Prisma supports a wide database like PostgreSQL, MySQL, SQLite and SQL Server and is popular among developers using Node.js and TypeScript. So maybe you are here confused how this Prisma works. So let me explain it for you. Let's see how Prisma works. Let's say this is the, your Next.js application and this is the database. So as a database engine, you can use the MySQL, you can use the PostgreSQL or you can use the SQL server. It's depend upon you. But let's say you want to perform a CRUD operation where you want to create, read, update or delete the data. So 
you will need to know how to use the MySQL or you will need to know how to use PostgreSQL or SQL Server. So here you will need to familiar with the syntax of this database. But what happens if you don't need to care about the syntax of the database or whatever the database you are using. Whether you are using MySQL, PostgreSQL or SQL Server, you don't need to care about how to use the syntax. You just need to know about only one language or one way to create a data and all the creation or all the current operation will be performed on the database based on the database engine. For that, here you can use the Prisma. So as you know, Prisma is ORM or Object Relational Mapping. So it allows you to interact with the database and return the information from the database. So this Prisma sits between your Next.js application and database and allows you to interact with the database to retrieve or to perform a CRUD operation. So you will need to only know how to use this Prisma. That's it. Now later we will see deeply how we can use this Prisma to get the data from the database to update the data to perform sorting and lots of things about it. But in this video, we will see how to set up the Next.js project with the Prisma. So let's proceed. Now open your project, go to terminal and here in a terminal to install the Prisma, you need to type a command npm install Prisma and hit enter. Now we have successfully included or installed the Prisma in our Next.js application. Prisma has command npx that you will usually use to create a data model or generate a client or uh, create a migration. So let's first type here npx prisma and hit enter. And as you can see, it shows a bunch of command that you can use. So here are the commands. First command is a init command, which allows you to set up a prisma for your app. Then we have a generate command, which allows you to generate the client. And then we have a db command to manage your database schema and migrate command to migrate your database. And then we have a bunch of command that we can use. So first let's set up this project with Prisma. So you need to type command here npx Prisma init and hit enter. So when you run this command npx Prisma init, it create a folders in your Nexus project that you can see here, the name of the folder is a Prisma and it contains a file a schema dot Prisma. And in this file, you will define the Prisma model or the database URL. Along with this uh, folder name, it creates a dot env file where you can specify your environment variable. By default, Prisma uses a PostgreSQL database. So here is the database URL or connection string that allows you to connect to the database. So we are using a MySQL. So we will replace this connection string with the MySQL. So let's go to the Prisma website and see how to specify this database URL or database connection string. So let's go to the browser and type here Prisma connection string and hit enter. Now go to the first link. And from here, you can choose the database MySQL. And now you can see to connect to MySQL database server, you need to configure a data source block in your Prisma schema. So in your Prisma schema file, you need to specify provider as a MySQL. So let's copy this one and then go back to the Prisma schema file and paste here. So remove this one data source and paste this one and you can see provider is a mysql now next we need to configure this database url so let's go to the env file and here instead of a postgresql we need to specify mysql and after that here we need to specify the username of the mysql server so let's open mysql And as you can see, user is a root. So specify user as a root. And then here you need to specify the password to connect to the database. 
So in my case, it is a default password 12345. After that, you need to specify the port on which your MySQL server is running. So in my case, it is running on 3306. So specify here 3306 and then after that you need to provide the database name. So, so in this case, I'm going to give the database name as a e-commerce like this. And this is the query string. So remove this one. We don't need it. Now we have specified our database URL to connect to the MySQL server. And now here you see the code generate client and this code generates a Prisma client and using this Prisma client you can interact with the MySQL database or you can perform the CRUD operation using the Prisma client. And if you have any confusion about how to connect to a database or how to specify this database URL, just go to the Prisma documentation here on this page and here you can see what you need to specify as a data source and then you can see here your connection URL like a protocol base URL path and argument that you want to use. So just go back here and choose the database that you are using with your Next.js application. Let's say that you are using the SQLite. Then you will go to your schema.prisma file and change the provider to SQLite and the URL to file slash dev dot db. And then you need to specify the connection details this page will guide you to how to set up your Prisma to connect with the SQLite database. Now from this point, I hope that you understand how to set up Next.js project with Prisma. In the next section, we will see how to define the model and create a migration and then create a table in a MySQL database using the Prisma. So at last, I want to say don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and thank you.